Welcome, welcome my YouTube family and friends. Thank you for tuning in to What's Cooking with Tracy. If you want to see how the best dressing on the west side is done, then stay tuned. Here you see me right now. I'm cutting up my seasoned cornbread that I seasoned last night. I seasoned it with Italian seasonings, oregano, garlic powder, parsley, basil, no salt. So what I'm doing right here is I'm crumbling it all up into a little into a bowl and i'm going to make little crumbles out of it to add it to my dressing so if you want to see some fried dressing stay tuned sit back relax and watch me cook so you want to crumble all your cornbread into very fine pieces like this i'm going to chop it down some more but you get the gist so very tiny, like crumbly bread. So right here, I am sauteing my vegetables. I have my onions, my celery, and my tricolored bell peppers. The red, the yellow, and the green is going down, baby. So you add a little butter to this non margarine butter for flavor and then you get a little sear going on you see the little brown in the skillet yeah you want that so you get a little sear going on and you keep sauteing until it's a little translucent and then you get your flavors going on and that's what you add to your dressing to make the flavors kick in this club here you will see me adding a chicken bouillon cube mixed with a little water then I added that to the skillet as well to give it more flavor and I'm asking for flavor flavor not salt so right now I have not added any salt to my dressing at this point you don't want a salty dressing that's a total turn off like I said best dressing on the west side you want to, the recipe stay tuned keep watching Is it an actual bakery? No, I'm saying I'm saying actual bakery. No, I didn't. Is it? Yeah. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm just buying. It's a little translucent. chicken and vegetables in the picture we do really want to do anything for this thanksgiving so everything is small that's why i have only a small amount of vegetables a small amount of chicken these are chicken thighs that i boiled yesterday and i refrigerated overnight i'm just gonna cut all of these i like it chunky I like chunky pieces. So, putting my chicken pieces back in the skillet because they're a little pink to me. So I'm just going to cook them a little bit until I get most of the pink out. I know it's going in the oven, but I'm a little OCD. Pretty much white now. 
Most of the pink is gone. So these are my dry seasonings that I will be using. Oregano leaves, morton salt, black pepper, lori seasoning, cayenne pepper, Mrs. Dash, the salt free garlic and herb version, celery salt, garlic powder, basil, and parsley flakes. These are all my dry seasonings that I will be using. See, oregano, salt, black pepper, lorries, zatarans, cayenne, Mrs. Dash, celery salt, garlic powder, and basil leaves and parsley flakes. So, I will be using one tablespoon of parsley flakes, one tablespoon basil leaves, one tablespoon garlic powder, one half half table half teaspoon, half a tablespoon of celery salt, one tablespoon of Mrs. Dash, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Uh, one teaspoon of seasoning salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of iodized salt, and one tablespoon of oregano leaves. Okay, so my wet ingredients will be cream of chicken and chicken stock. And you just keep adding those until you get your consistency that you are looking for for your dressing. I start out with more than half of the can. Keep adding until it starts loosening up a little bit. You don't want it too loose. I'm going to add more bread to this. Because it's not enough mixture. Chicken, some vegetables, some broth, a little bit at a time. Start it. Let's see how the bowl is getting full. That's why you do a little bit at a time. You want to make sure you have enough of, every, of everything. Okay, now some seasoning. 
This is the season blend that we did earlier. Add a little bit at a time of this. So thicken it up some more. Add a little more cornbread mix. You always keep some of that on the side. You want to fill this bowl up with ingredients. That way, you have a pan full of dressing. The rest of my chicken is really pretty much thick enough. seasonings. 